So let's see what Mucklock had to say about my shitty, why does everyone simp for Guild Wars 2? This is, this is how the meta works, right? This is the reaction meta, is I react to him reacting to me, reacting to him, and then it's just reactions all the way down. This is how you make it big, right? But no, seriously, I'm very interested in what he has to say, and... If I'm being a little bit more honest, it's hard for me to understand exactly what people um, find funny and to what degree. Maybe this is just part of my autism, but I have to study people to understand what's amusing and what's not to them. So I did like this video before, just to make sure I had it ready and waiting. So let's see what he has to say. Mugluck here, and I have been getting linked to this video a lot over the last few months, asking me to react to it. And I'm still really weird about reacting to videos because I want to get, like, the permission of the people doing it, unless they're just being like... You don't ever need my permission. Never. As long as you are not taking my shit and just fully, like, re-uploading it, I will never, ever in my life ever even bother to copy strike someone. Like, that's... I don't, I don't care about that. If you want to react to anything, react to anything. I give everyone anywhere my full permission always. Right, just do it. Just fucking do it. Like a total hater, in which case I feel like the door is open. And I was like, I don't, I don't know, if, I don't know this guy. I haven't talked to him. I've never had any back and forth with him. I don't know if I want it. Not Josh. He's just. Yeah, I've I've never had any back and forth with this guy or Josh. In fact, I just use clips from their stuff, so it's all fair game to me the first frame of the video and someone was like oh but this guy's reacted to your videos well shoot doors open then all mm -hmm. right let's do this okay yeah, right so this is. is why does everyone simp for guild wars 2 first impressions let's see what he has to say i would absolutely any day tell people to go and play guild wars 2 guild wars 2 in my opinion still does the best job of delivering story when it comes to mmorpgs hold on Hold on. Did he censor my video? Opinion still does the best job of delivering story when it comes to MMO. He fucking did. He fucking censored my video. <laughs> I, I suppose. Okay, he's a big YouTuber. He's he's like got eighty eight thousand subscribers. I I can't be mad at him for censoring stuff because he's trying to play. He's probably got more eyes on him than I ever will. So he's got to like be a lot more like safe for work and secure before YouTube comes along and spanks him and decides he's not allowed to do anything. So if he's censoring the word come, fuck, he's, he, this guy's going to be watching pixels for like 30 minutes. Like half this uh, goddamn uh, video is just going to be censored blocks. <laughs> A lot more cunts around to, ready to TOS your ass. Exactly. I'm actually really worried because I don't want to get my, um, I don't want to get my channel demonetized or like blocked or, or banned or whatever, but I also don't want to change my style of comedy or the way I do things. So I have no idea how to get around that because I actually, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually care about my YouTube channel. So I'm going to figure that out. He's streaming YouTube is family friendly, so he had to. Okay, if he's if okay, if he's family friendly, absolutely, I completely understand. No RPGs. Wait, I think I put dildos in this video. I'm pretty sure I put dildos in this video somewhere. So, I, and I know Twitch like has like a, a thing that scans your channel, like a bot that scans it, and if they see dick shaped objects, they ban you. So I wonder how he got around that if he's doing this live on Twitch because he has to be because there's a there's a chat thing there. The world feels extremely alive. You have people fighting. This MMO is definitely worth the money. Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2. Guild Preach Mighty Teapot. Wars 2. Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2. Oh, oh, oh. Who is that handsome potato? Look at that. Yo, mom, get the camera. Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2. Oh, really? The oh, fuck? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, listen to how bad my audio is. I don't understand how all these people stream and their audio just automatically sounds so good. 
and I try and make a YouTube video and my audio sounds like dog shit all the time. I'm like, I've been like going out of my way to do like audio training courses and stuff for the next uh, Guild Wars 2 video that I'm releasing specifically because I fucking hate how bad my audio is. I don't know how any of this is listenable to anyone. We'll see about that. Guild Wars 2, a <laughs> game I've never touched before despite it being 11 years old. And not touching 11 year olds is really strange behavior for a YouTuber in 2023. Now, No, that's the Smash community. Once upon a time- No. It was the Smash community. Now there's a lot more of them that are getting outed. I did play a dervish in a completely unrelated game with certainly no lore or story significance to this one called Guild Wars. But that was way back when we could call a Hurricane Katrina and no one wanted to have sex with it. Ah, too <laughs> He censored my audio. Wait, he censored the word sex? Uh, uh, well, I suppose uh, PG-13, fair enough, okay. I, I, made a, I made a joke just like a week ago that we need to stop with these feminine names for hurricanes because no one evacuates. We need to start calling them like Megatron or something because the, especially Florida, they're just like, no nah, man, I'm staying. Katrina's coming over. Look how bad. Just look at this. His camera is like going in and out of focus, right? And still somehow he looks better than I do, and my color balance is so fucking off, I look like a goddamn ripe tomato. This is why I can't watch my own videos. I will, all I want to do is criticize the shit out of them. Five. The good old days. But we're not here to reminisce over an age when the timeline wasn't irreversibly shattered by turning a gorilla into Swiss cheese. I, knew, I knew there was a Harambe meme coming. Because a child wanted free water. He knew, he knew it was coming because he also understands that was the turning point. That was like the flash point of our universe, where everything just went to shit after Harambe died. He knows. He knows. He's aware. To skiing lessons. See, I'm here to entertain you, and you're here to get the Wish.com version of brain damage. And maybe if we're both lucky, I'll be able to offer to you an opposing viewpoint to all- I like how he says the Wish.com version of brain damage. And maybe if- Immediately shows Jormag possessing this guy. Of course. Looking super derpy lucky i'll be able to offer to you an opposing viewpoint to all those boomers who keep themselves off over how good guild wars 2 is so let's did i say i said jacking themselves off i think i'm pretty sure you could you could say jacking yourself off without it being pj okay he's probably just like playing it safe because it gets much worse <laughs> You either die young or you live long enough to see yourself become a boomer. Let's waste no more words and see how disappointing Guild Wars 2 is about to be. Let's start off simple and pick that one objectively superior character race. And we might as well pick our class or profession too while we're at it. Right off the bat, Guild Wars 2 gets pretentious on us. Ooh, I'm so fancy because I've got an animal race that doesn't look like each and every other furry race out there. I get the impression that when first creating the char in Guild Wars 1, someone on the design team one day looked over at their house cat and realized that it doesn't in fact have a gigantic pair of unwieldy bolt-on tits. Thus do- I'm going to be pausing a lot. I can see it now. I mean, the Guild Wars okay, so you see like that. He paused there just to laugh. Now, in my head, that was just a throwaway joke. This is what I mean when I, don't, I say I don't understand people and why I like I need to watch these things to, to analyze people. Because to me, that was just like a throwaway joke. I didn't expect that to go anywhere. But that's the part that like if I go back to the most watched, a lot of people paused there. It's so fascinating to me. Two team to keep the design for the sake of continuity and banishing the furry menace back into other unnamed games out there. And yeah, that's great, but so what? I can name. Also, also, I gotta say, I didn't know this at the time, but I thought, looking at the char, they would be considered like unfuckable. The amount of porn of char. Drawn and and fucking 3D animated that was sent to me after after that completely disproved. I thought there was a line. I thought like you know even furries had a line. There's no line. 
they will fuck anything that's got enough hair on it. Turkish ha- hairy back to ter- a Turkish man. They'll fuck him. He looks close enough. They'll do it. They'll bang him. There is no line to what a furry won't fuck. That's what I learned making this video. I got so many pictures of char, like a char porn. And it's not good char, but it's like fucking, it's, it's, it's terrifying. It's like, not like, cause like, you know, you know, when like people draw porn and stuff, they usually like pretty things up and they, ma- no, they kept them ugly as fuck and just kept on going with it. There, there was one, there was one that was linked to me where the horns on a char were being used in a very specific way. And that, that fucking astounded me because that thought never crossed my mind until that moment. Two, two other MMOs out there that don't have furries in them. I think. I mean, just look at this game. It's already acting like it's better than everyone else out there. Next, you're going to tell me that the people who play this game shower regularly. Look. Probably not good that he showed teapot when he said that. <laughs> Let's get down to brass tacks. I'm here to have a bad time. I figured I, I, maybe it's just me. Maybe I've just been a WoW player for too long, but I thought I thought Teapot looked pretty clean over there. And dunk on all those Guild Wars 2 simps, okay? Not many, but the most hardcore of MMO players will realize this. But there's a delicate balance of salted misery to be maintained within this genre. And if we're going to figure out how to be miserable, there's only really one place to start this journey. Reddit and within the cesspool of I honestly thought he was going into the PvP lobby. I don't know if Reddit is worse or better than that. Circle jerking mod incels. We got no help. Big surprise. But I did stumble mm. across that one got me um death threats, by the way. That part also got this video taken down and then I had to re-upload it. Because um I called um Reddit a bunch of circle jerking mod incels. And then a guy was bragging about how he got my video taken down. And it's because I dared to call the mods on Reddit incels. Which was interesting to me. Because this video was, was blocked. I had to then apply to get it unblocked. And had to like have it re-uploaded and a whole bunch of shit. Before um, they would like reset the views on this. But there's like a giant just chasm in the first two days of this video being uploaded. Which is fascinating to me that someone got so offended that number one, they sent me death threats, and number two, they got my video pulled down. Across this useful little link right here. And a little later, upon returning to my post, we found a surprising number of people with a brain who typed something worth reading. These posts right here have me pretty concerned, actually. You see, they may not look like much, but this kind of positive behavior is disruptive to the natural e- is it common for people to end up becoming meta slaves? It's incredibly uncommon among the player base. For me, the best part is the open world. Uh, it's, it's a lot of good, which has disappointed that. Okay, so these are all positive posts. Ecosystem of MMO related. That's also Reddit. weird. But moving on to that What's link really, up. okay, so this is, okay, what was really weird about that was I've browsed Reddit before. I'm not a Reddit user. I don't understand how it works because I'll go into like, uh, I'll go into a Reddit thread looking for like a question in the MMO space that's going to be answered and someone will pose a question and they'll be like um hey um I what what can I do about this and then instead of answering the top uprated post will be someone being like huh, I would never do that in the first place and and like talking about themselves and I don't so I don't understand how reddit works either it's really odd. So there was a real shock when I actually got useful answers out of Reddit. I meant to actually make this section and then never put it in the video. And then because I got a positive answer, I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll put it in. I found. We've got two choices here. We can pick our character through player choice or by player time. Playtime probably means that people are having a worse experience with the game than just not liking the way <laughs> something looks. So let's go fuck. with that. Reddit isn't even red. They're well played. Well played. So now in no uncertain terms, we know we'll be playing the cat wizard that escaped the Harry Potter race war. So on to the character creator. Hmm, let's see. Mesma, illusions, finesse, misdirection. All the appropriate skills to craft the perfect- The suicide forest? Rose. Yes! Yes, suicide forest. I didn't show the fucking body, did I? Come on. 
perfect YouTube apology after entering a Japanese forest. While we designed Simba's disabled little brother, you may notice some real chunky polygons sticking out here and there, but a fair portion of this is covered up decently by the amount of options and sliders we've got available. And on Don't worry, when it comes to clipping, you definitely pick the best race by choosing Char. They have like no armor clipping at all. Oh, yeah. On top of those sliders, we've got some presets. We can even change the background lighting in case God didn't like you having- <laughs> Man, this guy is so diligent. Just look at this, he's so diligent. Not even the, the colorblind. <laughs> Not even the colorblind gets to know what I say. I mean, those who can see this. Who aren't colorblind, I mean. They, they don't get to see that. They, they know something's happening there now because, um, yeah having a working pair of eyes. And there's even a slider so we can decide if we're gonna be short or recognized as a person by society at law. <laughs> All of this is shockingly well put together, but this isn't gameplay, so let's speed run this a bit. All right, there we go. Completely indistinguishable from your average char. Now then, let's get in game. What, law, backstory. What the fuck is all this? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> now this is pure speculation on my part, but I get the feeling they're trying to turn our character into a person. I thought I was supposed to- What's up, Tan- uh, Tantalock. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure there was a second T in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I'm kind of going through Mukluk's video here, seeing if, if he's about to shit on me heavily or not. So far, we've got some laughs out of him, which is a good sign. Uh, he censored the shit out of my video, though. He was, I can see this man panicked. He was like, if I react and I put this on my channel, <laughs> I'm getting banned. <laughs> supposed to be playing main character generic hero man number six billion and one. All right, fine. I'll admit the character creator is good enough that it's got me wondering why this isn't industry standard for every other MMO out there. God, and this game is 11 years old and we still haven't evolved? You know what, don't worry about it. I'm sure with my choice That's of the least played race profession combo that we're about to have a bad time in the starting area. So welcome to Smokestead. Turns out that the Cat Chimera people beat the snot out of the previous owners of this land so bad that they all became eternally butt mad blue check mark Twitter ghosts. Jesus. <laughs> That see? is the best summary of Ascalon I've ever heard. <laughs> this is the least played starting area. Before we continue with our journey, I feel it's important for me to give you some backstory of this game before things get confusing. The premise of Guild Wars 2 is that we're playing as a cat monkey man in a game developed by the Children of Satan, who in unison with a group of money-hungry lizard men published this game, proving that sometimes math isn't bullshit and two negatives can sometimes produce something. Why is Horizon Forbidden West here? Because there's there's nothing worse than a woman. No, no, I, I actually put it there because um, I have big problems with Horizon uh, Forbidden West. I think it's a terrible game. It's one of the most disgusting games I've ever played because it is so clunky. It's such a repetition of everything in the past and people were heralding it like it's this great, wonderful game. It's quick time events and pushing buttons and it's done sloppily in comparison to every other controller based game that just plays better than it i'm i'm mad at horizon because i spent my money on it and it just i could have been playing something else that's why Positive. This game is all about adventuring your way through a single player game with other people that bother you every now and then. In the world of Tyra Banks, who's got a pretty severe collection of bad- Tyra Banks instead of- Yeah! Wow! And yeah, dragons. there you go! He paused on the dildos! <laughs> we got him, boys! Okay, I don't know- If he was streaming, I don't know how he didn't get banned for this. Because in my speedrun ban, the first thing I did was put dildos on the screen and I almost immediately got banned. Both on Kick and Twitch. I don't know how you got away with this, but I, I, this sense I completely understand. It's laying around. Strange occurrences happen in this MMO that don't happen in others. Like your backstory choices having mild consequences as opposed to none at all, and your character developing somewhat of a personality. In the long run of the Guild Wars 2 story, we're here to inflict unwanted diversity upon the world. Great timing on the pause. Yeah, thanks. Incoming ban like our name is Netflix, <laughs> and transport some uppity gecko with a bad habit of organizing a domestic terrorism or two into the afterlife. And I'm gonna stop there because this is a first impression and that's just the base game. And if you want the rest of the story, you might as well go get a PhD in quantum theoretical f 
in physics because that would be far more straightforward than understanding anything beyond each expansion featuring some version of Big Lizard Mad now. Except for Living World 3, where one of the human gods becomes the living embodiment of China and decides that everything is edible through his personalized Slopey straw. But none of- What? <laughs> Well, yeah, he does. He he does. He's like, I'm going to consume everything and become all powerful. That's that's literally what is in the wiki. He that god straight up wants to consume everything, and it's such a shift of pace. It's so strange because every expansion is like, this lizard has risen up and is now a problem. That lizard has risen up, and this one's like, yeah, the the human god has turned into Satan, and he's he's fucking hungry, man. He's like going through the fucking Corona Cafe in China, eating all the bats he can find to get like, he's fucking um, virus maxing, and he's coming for you next. What, what is the filter this man sees the world through? What the hell? That really What filter? Really matters right now because I'm a giant bipedal cat magician surrounded by unarmed but suspiciously blue protesters in need of some excessive force. So after proving to our superiors that no one is above the law except us, we even get some ringside seats to desecrating the graves of the indigenous. In particular, one of their leaders who really wanted to be a Power Ranger before he died and revived himself into an oversized Funko Pop. Now looking at this world lore-wise- See that, that part I'm mad about. I'm really mad about that part of the video because I could have made a better joke than oversized Funko Pop. I, I should have kept along the Power Ranger line and said that he was trying to be Voltron or one of the, the Power the Power Ranger Megazords or something like that. And I just completely missed there. Everything tends to fit together very neatly. We've been told from the start that the Char are brutal and warlike. And we, as a character in this game, get to be a part of that tradition. There's only really one problem. I, as a player in this game, don't really take any of these schizophrenic apparitions seriously at all. I mean, look at this. This guy's been beating me up for the last half an hour. And my health bar's barely moved. At no point in this game so far am I in any serious danger. And I'm not really being forced to learn how vital any of my specific abilities are. But moving on, after defeating the last statue of Stalin in an admittedly epic battle he's off, but moving on. Why he Hell yeah. To, work to put a mustache on this for all these frames. And then, Fuck yeah. And he said Stalin. At the After defeating the- Notice the mustache. That's what matters. It's the details that matter. It's the little things that people aren't gonna notice that matter. And he noticed it. I'm proud of that mustache. Our statue of Stalin in an admittedly epic battle, we are ready to leave tutorial war zone into tutorial starting area, which is the same place just with less ghosts and not instanced. So welcome to Smokestead. The transition here is a little bit odd. We've now gone from battle hardened soldier to pest control handyman who's here to auto correct a few sentient rats out of existence and learn a little- Also side note, I'm really mad at the audio that I put in there. I'm really mad that I didn't just do a retake. And like, I was so tired when I was doing this that I didn't notice that and I never went back and fixed it. I'm so mad about that. A little bit more about the world around us. And look. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Some of the, uh, I, honestly, I'm glad he played the Char and not the Norns. Cause the Norns, the, the starter story is, just, is not even like there's danger. It's just like, we don't have enough beer. Look, as much. <sighs> should have played the Norns. I should have played the Norns. Everyone else is like, this grand epic threat is coming for us. These guys are like, we don't have enough beers. Sounds like an awesome fucking starter quest. That sounds like a good progression in an upwards direction versus you're going to fight or fucking Megazord Ghost Man. Oh, by the way, now clean up this donkey shit for the next two hours. I feel like that's a way better like stepping ladder instead of here's the tutorial where you do epic shit. Okay, now go be a farmer. As I want to be negative about Guild Wars 2, I can't say I hate this experience. We get a few more abilities, learn some important skills like how to dodge, and learn to develop a case of epilepsy from all the spell effects happening around us. Come to think of it, I think. Come on, I think Final Fantasy 14 is way worse with the epilepsy. Yeah, I haven't played Final Fantasy 14, so I wouldn't know. That's one of the problems with this game. You see, combat is interesting. More on that in a second. But there's just so much visual clutter that it's difficult to. Fuck, look how blurry my camera is. I gotta fix that.
He weapon swapped. Oh my god, the abilities change when you switch weapons. And not just that, every profession wields the same weapon in a completely different way, which just adds to the fantasy. Wait, wait, every wait, wait, profession wait, wait, wait. wields the same weapon in a completely <laughs> Mesmer do, you, do you see his brain turned off for a second? He was ha like I've I've edited this in such a way that he was beginning to have a stroke and he didn't notice this cuz he was like facing out and he's just at a moment where he came back it's like a dementia patient in an old age home who just goes oh i remember everything and then you, and then they stroke out and they remember nothing engineer thief floridian <laughs> <laughs> different way which just adds to the fantasy of the game someone with the guardian profession will pick up a two-handed sword and identify it as a manually operated wood chipper but a mesmo will pick up the same sword and instead see a long metal wand made for ranged combat a vada cadaver can't believe that shit worked now i've that effect was so bad i don't you see like i know that i made that effect at the time i made it shitty on purpose but i almost wish i didn't Never in my life thought of a sword as a ranged weapon, but Guild Wars 2 made that possible, and I can appreciate that. As I played my way through the starting area, though, certain unavoidable realities about the combat began to dawn on me. As I've hinted at, magic effects in this game are so bright I feel like I'm staring into the f***ing sun sometimes. But that's about the worst I have to say about it. Guild also, if you looked into the eclipse uh, yesterday, please see a doctor. Guild Wars 2 has somehow made a hybrid- Please don't, you deserve your fate. <laughs> a ...tab targeting system that feels immersive and smooth to play, even in 2023. Part of this likely has to do with the fact that if I've positioned myself wrong and use an ability, my character doesn't tell me, can't do that. but instead it's more of a sure. I don't mind flailing the sword around in the Walmart parking lot, but it's also more than that. Almost every single combat factor feels important. Your timing, your positioning, how you choose to approach a fight depending on your profession, all of it matters, except what ability you decide to press, at least at the lower levels. Now I'm sure at endgame that statement is likely to not hold true, but right here, right now, it honestly doesn't feel like it matters what button I press because my character is a oh. walking god of death. Oh, by I the way, that, that part there where I said it doesn't matter what button you push for the early levels, that's another part that got me death threats. This video got me more death threats than I've ever had in my life. It was magical. I was like so excited to read all of these because I was like, wow, I struck a nerve. I'm so shocked. Not as much as the earlier part, but this part as well. This, this one got me like two or three people being like, fuck you, you don't know what you're talking about. Do more research. I'm going to kill you. And I'm like sitting here like, yeah, you're going to come to my third world country. You're going to get off the you're going to get off the plane and you're going to get gang raped before you fucking step foot out of that airport. If you think you're coming to my, uh, my house, you won't make it past the doors of the airport before your asshole is wider than your face. I touch just. Wait, really? Yes, really. Just dies. And for someone who's never played MMOs before and picked up Guild Wars 2, that's the thing that's likely to take them out of the experience the most. There's also, also, I've got to say, the death threats, I will prefer death threats over seeing more porn of Char. Right? I will, I will take the death threats. I do not need to see more, more out-titted female Char being rammed down by different shapes of Asura, Silvari, human, Norn. I don't I don't need to see any more of it. That that damaged my emotional state far more than any of the death threats did. By by a wide margin. I saw some scary shit. People are into some weird shit, man. There's no initial challenge, but other than that, there's plenty of weapons to experiment with, a not overwhelming amount of buttons to push, and all of what you're doing for weapons to experiment with, a not Wait. overwhelming amount of buttons. He's running full sickness. I mean, yeah, there's a not overwhelming number of buttons to push. Whatever. Of course I'm running full sickness. I've never played the fucking game before. I'm a WoW player. I see a tree and I think I have to fill out the whole goddamn tree before moving on, okay? Of course I'm playing full sickness, goddammit is a passive thing on the bar to push and all of what you're doing also also passives are op because you get to focus on less things ask any professional they will always take the thing that is simpler and master it rather the th than the thing that is hyper complex and try and be mediocre at it always going passives is way better because you've got less to think about and you can focus on the more significant parts of combat instead of playing fucking beethoven on your keyboard that's what I was told about elementalists, so good luck for them. 
Everything feels well tied to the fantasy of Tony the Tiger's albino brother looking for his lost dad. While we go through all these little quests that build up the world a little bit, we finally come of age at level 10 and are given permission to leave the opium fields to pursue our own personal jihad. We enter into a city that <laughs> gives off first person Kenshi vibes. More importantly, we're given our first mount. Huh. Now that was oh man, dude, I forgot about that. Yeah, because for a long time you didn't get mounts till Path of Fire, but then they had an offer where they made it to where after level 10, you got a rental raptor, so you got a taste for it. And then it would be like, hey, if you buy the expansion, you can keep this. Was under that was such a good idea. That's just, uh, all I'm saying is that was such a good idea for them to do that. Because it did make me buy the expansion. Okay, the we're going off No questline, yeah. no story integration. Just congrats on level 10. Here's a dinosaur now i don't know about you but back in my day playing wow when everyone also know i haven't experienced the um the rest of the mounts yet because when i was doing my leveling experience which i've completed and i'm working on the videos for um i didn't want to touch the mount because i would use the mount to run away from the other experiences since that wasn't the original goal or design of the base game um they expected you to walk through everything so that's exactly what i did i've been ignoring mounts and i might just make a video in the future that's just just me being on a fucking roller beetle when i get a hold of one everyone thought that you could fix the paladin you, you but back well, i like how when he starts reminiscing he puts on actual rose colored glasses that's a nice i'm shocked that he noticed that detail nice touch in my day playing wow when everyone thought that you could fix the paladin nuke sword by fishing when you got your first mount it felt amazing you had to grind for hours to make enough money to afford that bastard because it's likely you wasted all your money on repair bills from exploration related debts or doing something else stupid in game and you had to walk Death to your rolling. computer desk uphill barefoot in the snow while it was raining fire all while your dad chased after you with a belt but here in guild wars 2 it's just kind of and then that all changed when I pressed the W key. I love this part of the video. Mm. This is the only part of the video that I actually appreciated was, was me doing this because it made people so uncomfortable. <laughs> For those that don't know, in World of Warcraft, when you get on a mount, it's basically just your character moves 100% faster. You can still turn on a dime, you can stop in an instant, you can just U-turn and re keep full momentum, you know? it uh, It's effectively, like, if, if it wasn't for the graphic, you are just go, you would just go, oh, I'm twice as fast now. That's it. Guild Wars 2 was one of the first major MMOs that actually had, like, acceleration and deceleration and wider turning and then, like, the, the, con the uh, mount attack. <laughs> I love how he's trying to be serious and have this serious conversation and fucking... The um, um but to come guy's face is like right behind him and he's fucking drooling. I love this pause. It's beautiful. He's forcing his chat to experience this for longer. Back and stuff like that. I'm about the net. Also, yeah, you have the, the big jumps of the raptor. I'm wondering if I need to I take back what I said. This iguana feels pretty good. Wait, this mount hold doesn't on. just hold on. Hold on, did he cut? Is that... Did I fuck up my video? Or did he cut there? Also, yeah, you have the, the big jumps of the raptor. I'm wondering if I need to... I take back what I said. There's a black... There's a black flash there. He cut something out. I don't know what I did there. I don't, I don't know what I did in my original video there. But I may have, there may have been an image of Dreamy Bull and the, like, the, the, the jism, like, appearing in front of his face that made him cut there. Or may, maybe, maybe it's just an editing mistake, I don't know. But maybe I did something there that made him cut that little chunk out there. Said, this iguana feels pretty good. This mount doesn't just have one singular speed, it accelerates from a stationary position. It has a turn radius, it even has abilities. And as much as WoW bit off of Guild Wars 2 for the Dragonflight mount system, it still feels like they've done a better job in the original, and we're still currently only- Man, those roller beetle- those like beetle videos, I, I watched like maybe 30 or 40 of them, and I'm like, how the fuck did they put this in an MMO and no one else has? Because that shit looked so cool to me. I didn't even know where the clips were from. I just found them online. And I was like, what the fuck?
level 10. God damn it, Guild Wars 2. Why can't you just let me hate you like an MMO player normally hates everything they play? I want... I want that hoodie. Where do I get that hoodie that looks like chainmail? Haven't you taken enough... Alibaba Express, it's the cheapest hoodie I could find. It's all made out of elastin. It was like five dollars. And, le and let me tell you, that thing is falling apart. I have to like every now and then stitch it up myself <laughs> because it is the cheapest hoodie I could get. And it's so light, the material on that thing. From me. All right, fine. I'll admit that the hybrid tab targeting system feels good and immersive to play with. I'll begrudgingly accept that this little ability bar isn't overcomplicated or oversimplified, all while it keeps the character's class abilities in line with the in-game lore. But do they really have to make things straightforward enough that some new player who's never played an MMO before can stump? Uh, he skipped like a five second section where you could see a hand movement. Hold on. Let's see. Okay, there's, there he is. There's Nutmaster. <laughs> Okay, so he skipped something here. What did he skip? Aha! <laughs> okay, okay, that's fair. That's fair. I know what he skipped. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I take that. Okay. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Okay, I'll give him that. That's fair. <laughs> I made that, uh, by the way, I made that like that opacity just because while he's yelling that there is just like flying up above his face. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm that's fair. This game and enjoy themselves and that they could probably do this without looking up a single guide online. Won't you consider the suffering this causes a veteran player like me? How am I as a salty old player supposed to gatekeep this experience when even the <laughs> A and D keys are bound to strafing instead of keyboard turning by default? How am I supposed? Oh, thank God. Something to about. There's an in-game store. This <laughs> Now let's see if he actually does it justice. See, there again. There again. I thought of that as a throwaway joke, and he's he, that was one of the things he laughed the hardest at. I don't understand. God damn it. Let's see if he actually does it justice. So for those that don't know, real quick, the in-game store, there is an in-game store, but this is an MMO that does not have a subscription fee, right? Uh, the store has quality of life stuff, and you... I buy anything in the gem store with in-game gold so right so yeah you can throw down five bucks to get something in the store or you can just spend a few hundred in-game gold to get the same thing so like as someone who's been max level for a while i can get anything and everything i want from the store without spending any real money uh that's fine what he's saying there is fine you can get everything from the store because you've been playing the game in game that's perfectly fine right? But I bet you that it would take a player who wanted to get everything in-game in the store longer if he played the game to get those things than if he just swiped a credit card. And pay to win is when you are exchanging your time for value. If you get to exchange less time for the same value at any level or point, it is pay to win. Right? Now, is Guild Wars 2 understandably pay to win? Yes, they've got to make money somehow. It's not a subscription model, blah, blah, blah. They've got to keep the lights on somehow. That's fair. Now, on the scale of pay, uh, you know, I'm getting too deep into this. Otherwise, I'm going to spend the next like two hours talking about pay to win. Because like this, this right here, this right here, this section is where I got the most death threats because people are so mad that I called their favorite game pay to win. So most people consider it pretty fair. Uh, however, let's see what he says. This game is pay to win. Absolutely disgusting. I have never in my life seen a cash shop so, so mediocre. God damn it. Who am I kidding? There's much worse out there. Keep in mind, this doesn't make this acceptable in my opinion, but it could be much worse. The biggest thing to complain about here is probably the utility and upgrade tabs. From what I can tell, the utility and upgrade tabs are all about creating a problem to sell a solution. With the old pay for convenience line attached to it. You know how. Yeah. I will say, as someone who makes guides for this game, I recommend to people to get almost nothing from those tabs. 
like you transmute that i know i know okay so he's trying to be upstanding about it right and that's fine because you don't you don't genuinely don't need to go into those tabs but those tabs still exist that's the thing is those tabs still exist they are there to milk you they are m there to milk those little gamer nipples dry that's the problem mutation charges like they give you thousands of those just for playing the game trading post <laughs> express why do you need to access the trading post from anywhere there's there's from people you can talk to all over the game for that you know stuff like that there's there's very there's very few things in here that would be like even if you were rich that i would recommend get mm, unbreakable gathering tools mm. Mm, so not no durability mm. Mm. delicious how it goes extra bag space bank that's, tab that's crafting cool. shortcuts that kind of stuff now all of that stuff i expected but then it takes a little bit of a darker turn extra character slots waypoint unlocks the fact that gold doesn't just convert to gems but gems also convert to gold that is pretty low but again admittedly it's surprising it's not worse considering the developer right okay so you can take real money and buy gems and then turn those gems into gold and basically buy gold in the game this i i i bet you i bet you he's about to say the word but he just said you can take money, gems, gold. He, he said that. Now he's going to say the word but. And I want you to remember something when people say the word but. Um, and they're not talking about gluteus maximus. When you say the word but, you invalidate everything you said before the word but. I'm guilty of this. Everyone is guilty of this. Right? And it's not, I, I'll say it again, it's not the most egregious pay to win system in the world. But it does exist. And that's fine. People still enjoy the game itself enough to play it. You don't have to interact act with the pay to win system. And he's going to say, yeah, I'm not a furry, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a furry, but your dog's looking pretty hot, bro. <laughs> this, uh, this has a couple of things. Like one, there's like no gold sellers because it's already in the game. However, there is a gold seller. Okay, so he didn't say the word, but I'm glad I was wrong. There is a gold seller. It's just not on a website. It's the, the game devs themselves. That, so the gold seller does exist. None of the max level gear, save for one weapon, can you obtain with money, right? Like the max wait, level... Hold on. What did he say? In the game. However, none oh, of the... Okay, there's the however. However is the educated butt. That's fair. Max level gear, save for one weapon, can... The max level gear, say for one weapon. Well, then that one weapon does make it pay to win. And you obtain with money, right? Like the max level, like max level legendary equipment and ascended stuff just isn't tradable with one exception. So even if you decided to throw some stupid amount of money in the game, that doesn't get you the best stuff. You still have to actually play the game. So you don't have to get the best stuff for it to be a pay to win. You just need to get a boost over someone else. Trade your time for money. Again, it's it, that is the reasoning that most veteran players don't really care because you can't pay to win. And in things like. Uh, no, you can pay to win. You can pay to get your time back to move faster than everyone else, especially if you're starting a character from zero. So you, you can pay to win. I will argue with people on this point, and that's that's perfectly fine. The, it's like I say, veteran players and everyone else doesn't give, don't really give a shit because the degree of severity of pay to win in Guild Wars 2 is way lower than most other MMOs. Way, way lower. If you took any Korean MMO and put it next to Guild Wars 2, the degree of severity of Guild Wars 2 for pay to win is like a 1 out of 100. And the Korean one is like 5,000 out of 100. PvP, uh, your gear doesn't matter. In PvP, it just equalizes everyone. Your gear is just cosmetic. It's just how you look. That's it. Not saying that that is like perfect, but that's how it is. And that's why most people don't mind it.
and publisher of this game. But at least there's a solution to this as a first time player. You see, I don't care about being the best, most well kitted out Guild Wars 2 player. I don't care about high performance. Yeah, I'm just here for an experience. So with this one magic spell, we can get rid of all these problems. Now let's get back to our adventure. Just, so after end. dicking about in the Mad Max Thunderdome for a while, things at this point become just a little bit formulaic. We do our quests, we level up, we get thrown into some story based instant stuff. We're just kind of muddling around and do you think just going back here just we level Hold up on. we get thrown in do you think mesmers can have a gangbang all by themselves do you think that's in the law there's just a mesmer who's like it's not gay it's technically masturbation because there's five of me into some story-based instant Fuck. Oh, you see you see how Guild Wars 2 has corrupted my mind. It's fucked it's fucked me up because of all the porn people sent me. Stuff. We're just kinda muddling around and what what the hell is that? Hold on one sec. Oh, so it's like a point of interest discovery map thingy. Anyway, as I was saying, we're kinda j What the hell is that? Okay, I see what he's yep. doing. So he's going to go there into talking about how there's constantly things that like detour you and get your attention and distract you in this world. Yeah, that, and I'm underplaying this part. It happened it, almost every single fucking level I was playing this game. I just got distracted. I needed to see that thing over there. What was that? What's that dynamic event all the goddamn time? One second. I'm not missing this. Whew. Well, that was fun. Now, what was I saying? At this point, I can't even remember. And that seems to be the thing with Guild Wars 2. There's a ton of content, world events, jumping puzzles with rewards, open-ended quests with a lot more to experience, even at these lower levels. Getting sidetracked feels almost mandatory as you level up. Guild Wars 2 has somehow struck- Mandatory. Yeah, so for anyone new to Guild Wars 2, you might be seeing me review this video for the first time. There's a thing in the game called events. And events would be just like, mm -hmm. on your mini-map, there's an orange circle and there's something going on there. And you go there and you do it. And if the event is successful, it might lead to another event. Like, hey, you protected the convoy uh, from this attack. The convoy is going to start moving again. Stay with them if you wish. Yeah, that shit happens all the time in this game. It's like you do. Um, I got trapped in a zone for um, when I was doing my leveling experience. I got trapped in a zone doing one dynamic event after another for a good four hours because the dynamic event just kept on leading to another one. I can't even remember the zone. I just remember it was like a desert-like zone and we were invading some guy's camp and then we were invading some other guy's camp that led to another guy's camp and then by then there were like 25 people around me and we were suddenly fighting a boss. It just kept happening. It was so good. It was so awesome to see that many people involved in that. ...and help protect them from future attacks. And then it might be like a chain, like an event, an event, an event, and every one of those is like a quest complete reward. And then if they reach their final destination, it'll be like the, uh, you know, a, a large thing will happen. Maybe a big boss will spawn or something. Um, and there's many of these event chains in various zones that can trigger uh, very large things to happen if people are getting involved, which these are not related to the quests in the game. These are things that just happen like every couple, like uh, like this specific event might happen every two hours here. And then it, whether or not the events after it happened depend on if there's people getting involved. Stuff like well, you that. fail. Struck a good balance between the story-based quests okay, and Okay, that's how something you didn't mention is you can fail events. I failed a, a char event at the very beginning of the game and it was just like, fuck you, everyone's dead. Better luck next time. And I thought that was pretty awesome. Usually um, MMOs are like really, really scared of showing their players failure. It's why all the early game um, enemies do no damage. It's why all the quests in the very beginning, like um, once you've hit level 10 or so, and you should know what you're doing, are still like, well done, little baby. Here's your, here's your medal. You're the best ever. And I wish one of these games, and um, to be fair, Guild Wars 2 did this with one of their dynamic events, was just like, fuck you. You weren't good enough eat shit <laughs> i want games that do that let's explore the world through side quests and whatever else we want to do and that's one of the hidden hallmarks of a great mmo you're just not able to help yourself and you need to know what that thing you saw was in the distance or the game giving you every opportunity to be involved in some dynamic world event now combine that with guild wars 2's fever dream like graphics and it's like being the world's worst adhd patient on peyote by the time i had regained my
What is your? This is the third time, where it's like that was a throwaway joke, and he's laughing so goddamn hard. Oh, man, something's wrong with me. Filter. I grip on my focus, I was level 20, looking for a dad I once lost in an orphanage-shaped daycare all those years ago. After finding him, I realize why he may have abandoned us. Look, I'm no expert in genetics, but we're a little bit uh, on the light side for that to be our dad. But either way, he decides to accept us as his real son under the condition that we free him from prison. And get Fun fact that I learned from the cat experts who sent me all the cat fucker videos. Um, it turns out that the genetics of cats don't work like human beings and like they can have a litter of cats that are just completely different patterns to them right that it's just like completely different so that's another fa a fun fact i learned from the people who sent me all the videos of um char doing suspicious things with their horns get revenge on his old gang for him so that's exactly what we do what's noted for any non guild wars players during the character creation when it asked about his background and he said what the f is this he chose the my dad's in prison option. Um, each race has three different options. Like the, the human three options are different from the cat people three options, stuff like that. So uh, there's, what is there, five races? So there's like 15 different backstory options that you can choose from a character creation, which just give you another quest that you can, uh, you can do if you wish to do so. And the worst part about all of those backstories is I wish they mattered more in game. I wish I wish they mattered all the way to level 80. But once you resolve this, it's just like never spoken about again. I feel like that's wasted material. I feel like they could have taken those way further and it would have been awesome if they did. About this quest line though is that the game gave us the option to keep him in prison. What's impressive here is that the MSQ is based all on the one backstory I chose way back in the character creator. Eventually though, we pay our father's bail, find the feral cats that he'd been hanging out with and sterilize them away from life, resolve the story for now and are back to adventuring out in the open world. Now I had come into this game without reading a single guide or watching a single video. The only thing I had done was make a post on Reddit and that convinced me that interacting with people was a bad idea but through witnessing my sheer unbridled stupidity i had someone who's been playing this game since the birth of our current universe expose me to both the likely origin of the no no <laughs> flu that gets you shadow banned for mentioning it and eventually the first dungeon i had been looking for now this has been a long trip but not an unenjoyable one i wish i could have stuck to my original goal and been a salty little baby about this game maybe make a spicy thumbnail for this oh come on Oh, come on, you didn't need to censor that one. I censored that one for you. There were no there were no chunky bits showing up, and it was someone banging a tree. Come on. That one didn't need a censor. Come on. This video, rake in those clickbaited wow. rage views saying this game is terrible. But I just yeah, we're not pausing I that. can't do it. Guild Wars 2 is not without its problems, but it is still an incredible MMO. It took me by surprise how well loved this game is by its players and community at large. This entire MMORPG can be summarized in the words they didn't have to, but they did. The devs didn't have to make What? Oh, fuck, you see, I, I edit too fast. I've got to slow down some of those, like, um, things because i barely saw that but then again maybe it's good that i just can barely be summarized put that in the words they didn't have hold on i'm gonna slow down the speed i don't know what this was that he censored i need to see like i need it's triggering my autism i need to see if this was reasonable that he said do they did oh yeah okay no that one was reasonable that one's fair no okay no 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 okay that one, that one's fair i understand I remember that image. <laughs> I just need to see the two blue pixels there and that, okay, no, that was fair that he censored that. The devs didn't have to make mounts with acceleration. If you saw it, shut up for the people who didn't see it. <laughs> instead of flat speeds, but they did. They didn't have to voice act out the main character storyline with what must have been a shit ton of lines for some voice actors, but they did. They didn't have to put in all this extra effort into making the combat system, world, story, quests, or scenery, and could have just gone with your stock standard MMO approach and ended up with a perfectly fine MMO, but they did. And that's what makes Guild Wars 2 feel so special. Now this might- <laughs> Rambo with a bear head. 
be crazy to say, it almost feels like this game was made by people who not just like, but maybe even love the MMO genre. But maybe that's just early onset schizophrenia from being flashbanged by the Mesmer's abilities one too many times. Really quickly, when Guild Wars 2 was first made, um, my understanding is I, I wasn't a player at that time. My understanding was that it was from a lot of developers that had played games like EverQuest and World of Warcraft, and they were trying to break out of that mold. Like, for, for example, one mm. of the things at the launch of the game is they did not want to have tank healer DPS, you know, the holy, the holy trifecta. They did not. I'm kind of glad that they didn't stick to the, the tank healer DPS kind of thing. Because it was really refreshing to get away from the Holy Trinity. Also, it felt really, really, really good to see the game say to me, Fuck you, your life is in your own hands. Here's a healing button. It's not someone else's problem. Because I played a Shaman Healer all the way through a fucking Wrath of the Lich King. And let me tell you, people are fucking stupid. Especially in raids. You're doing Ulduar on 40 man, and you're the Shaman Healer. And you working your ass off and DPS dickhead number 23 decides I'm the king of the world and fucking dives in on the boss before the tank even knows what's going on and wipes you all out. And you, and everyone's like, bro, why didn't you heal him? You, you could have given enough time. I'm like, dude, he's got five fucking hit points. And like the boss farted in his direction and he died before I could even blink. Oh my. Oh, man. Mm. 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 Let it go. Let it go not want to have that and at the beginning of the game there was no healers there was no tanks everyone was just kind of an adventurer you know you had everyone was a dps that had a self-heal move and if it was on cooldown and you mess up again that's on you um and the whole <clears throat> world was them trying to break the mold of what was the current mmo at that time if somehow like me you still haven't played guild wars 2 at this point and just want a bullet point list of the good versus the bad then here it is starting with the bad oh, hold on hold on <laughs> hold on <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what did he skip there? I just want a bullet point list of the good versus the bad. I'm not showing that. Hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, I don't think that one was fair. I'm pretty sure I didn't do anything bad there. I, I'm and pretty sure I was fine there. I just there. want a bullet point list of the good versus the bad. Oh, okay. Come on. That's just a pair of hands. I don't, I don't know where you're getting the idea that you cannot show that on YouTube. I'm, come on. That's just a pair of hands. There is nothing, <laughs> there is nothing that cannot be shown to children in this image. <laughs> there is nothing. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, maybe you recognize the hands. I wonder if Mukluk recognized the hands. If he was like, I know where those hands are from. And that's why he was like, mm -mm, not showing that. But come on, it's just a pair of hands. <laughs> the wedding ring was offensive. <laughs> I mean, come on, the guy's double married. <laughs> Look at those hands. He's double married. <laughs> bad, and here it is. Starting with the bad. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's broken. He's broken. I broke Guild him. Guild Wars 2 throws a lot of complex <laughs> systems at you, which can be overwhelming at times. There's a lot of complexity look, in this look game. At him, look at him. Look at the fear on his face. He's like, he's like, I'm going to have to fucking edit the shit out of this so I don't get banned and get my channel. <laughs> look at him. That's fear. That's fear on his face. And it's easy to miss something. Important, oh, like the fact that you can upgrade your gear or that you have to equip your specialization to your character before you can gain its benefit. This feeling of being overwhelmed also carries over to the way things look. And sometimes there's a lot of visual clutter to deal with. Some abilities are blinding or distracting to the point that you're not quite sure if you've missed something important. Or you know what? I, I'm actually... um. That's why I edit videos, is to get that horror show response out of people. I love making people uncomfortable enough that they're like, they start questioning their life decisions. They're like, wait, what kind of fucking video did I just walk into? Or not. There's a pay to win shop. And no, on this channel, we don't out and use weasel words like pay for convenience. It's all the same thing and at the end of the day it's there to get you to spend more money. None of that really matters as you're leveling up your character but that's something to keep in mind if you plan to stick with this game all the way to max level. And finally there are some bugs, strange error messages and issues with the game but nothing so far that has been game breaking or I will say again 
that even if you let's say you sit down you download guild wars 2 and you're you're some rich oil baron and you slap down ten thousand dollars and just funnel it all into the game you can get some mediocre armor out of that but guess what the mediocre armor is better than no armor and you've saved your time getting to the point of getting mediocre armor so you can get to the better armor faster which means you've bought back your time from the game you are winning against someone who didn't do that now you'll never have a problem with you know any in-game cost that you'll ever have again you cannot get the best gear in the game or the second best gear in the game by throwing money at it it doesn't matter you can throw money at gear that's going to be better than what you originally have cannot now, your ability to acquire it might be a little easier because you could, like, I don't know, bribe other people, get, get help, stuff like that. But I, I, I do feel the need to point that out. Made me have an uninstall mode. And your gear doesn't matter in PvP. Moving on to... Yeah, but that's PvP. That's how it should be. Your gear shouldn't matter in PvP. I'm, I'm an equal opportunity murder enjoyer. So I agree with him that your gear should never matter in PvP. Whether that's... Wow, Guild Wars 2, some obscure version of runescape that's being played on a private server it shouldn't matter to the good and there's a lot of good so i'm just going to stick to the main points guild wars 2 base game is free to play making it far more enjoyable knowing i could stop at any point in time and my anorexic bank account isn't going to get any thinner there are no negative pressures here compelling me to play the game if i don't want to this is also a very detailed game with a lot of love and time put into it and that becomes very obvious the more you play it everything from the story to the world design okay, i think i think he's probably not going to say much more. oh wait, wait hold on Holy shit, he's still got like a whole five minutes to go there. And itself feels on point. Nothing about this experience is mismatched. Combat is simple to learn, but has a high skill ceiling depending on what character class you pick up. But more than that, the higher your level goes, the more the flow of combat feels impactful. Initially, I told you that at the lower levels, it doesn't really matter what buttons you push. But as you level up, the world around you begins to become a threat, much like aging in real life. And if you're not paying attention to your health bar, you'll find yourself squirming around on the floor, trying to bandage yourself up before you get bull cars beat and even at low levels i can tell <laughs> he's he's thinking he's thinking he's thinking he was thinking he was gonna say something and then he was like let me not let me let me not linger on that thought before something happens All of this game appears to be coherent consistent and integrated into the gameplay itself this is the kind of mmo story that makes you care about what you're doing you're not just running out into the wilderness killing 10 bears to collect 10 bear at a drop rate of 10%. You're protecting a farmer's livelihood by killing the bandits that would have otherwise stole all of his cattle. You're negotiating a peace treaty between two races who've hated each other for centuries. Or you're protecting your people from the haunted burial ground that they decided to build their house on top of. All in all, I'd say that even now, in 2023, Guild Wars 2 is worth your time. The short answer here is that this isn't just a game trying to suck you into some mindless grindfest, but a fantasy world and a story to experience. I can tell you right now that even after I'm done with this first impression, whenever I've got a spare moment, I'm likely going to pick up this game again. But it looks like our Wrangler is fine. I'm going to tell you this now. I did pick up this game after this for, for the last year, and... I must have made eight or nine different characters and I kept deleting them trying to find out what I like. Um, and then for my video, the the leveling experience, I had to delete all those characters. And it kind of hurt. Because some of them were all the way at like level 50. But I wanted to try out different... Ugh. I don't know why I'm hiccuping now. I wanted to try out different... Um, different classes and stuff i will never touch an elementalist ever again after that mm -mm. i thought it was so cool i thought it was awesome and then i played it and i'm like mm, no 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 i have one brain i have three brain cells and two of them are on holiday i'm not playing this class finally back and ready to take us into the dungeon so let's pop this guild was too done our wrangler <laughs> And finish this first impression the right way. All right, well, it's a little dark in here, but not too bad. Sarcophaguses. Looks like this one has a burial and undead theme to it. I guess I shouldn't be too... It's called the Ascalonian Crips. Hey, he recognized it. He's been playing this game for far too long. He recognized it. He, he, saw, he saw the entrance to the dungeon. He saw the background. And he knew exactly which dungeon I was in.
That that's how you know he's been playing this game for way too long. Surprised with how many ghosts we've been killing. Oh look at that. We've even got an NPC to guide us through our first dungeon. How considerate. First we deal with a little bit of combat with some more dangerous than regular mobs, but nothing we can't handle. We find a key and alright, here we go. Big door opening. This is the moment. This is when it gets interesting. What the hell? Okay, I'm sure that error message was just a one-time thing. We'll just walk back in there and... This game. How dare they take me on this emotional roller coaster just to kick me out of the first dungeon multiple <laughs> times. These bastards made me care about my character's story. They went and reminded me of why I love MMORPGs in the first place. I, I've never had that glitch. I have like eight. I have so many comments of people being like, I've had uh, 10,000 hours in this game or so, or whatever. And it was like, I've literally never seen that before in my life. I think I had someone who was masquerading as a commenter who was actually a um, game dev who was like, hey, can you show me that error message again? Can you, can you link it to me? Can you tell me exactly the time? And he went and he found my stream and he found the exact moments that had happened and then clipped those moments and saved them and then spoke to me about them. And I think it was a game dev, but I'm not sure. But that guy was asking some very specific questions. So that might never happen again in game because that guy specifically came and spoke to me and i shit you not after that conversation it was two days later and there was an update to guild wars 2 from the bottom of my heart i hope that was a game dev thousand hours in this game and i don't know what that was i'm just laughing that it happened place they made me have fun god damn it now as a viewer you might not understand why i'm so mad but i'm supposed to remain objective soulless and uncaring and guild wars 2 just had to ruin that for me <laughs> I spit on you, Guild Wars 2. <laughs> this game is terrible. IGN, 0 out of 10. Don't play it. You know what? I'm logging out of this bullshit right now, and I'm never- That's my old room. That's my old green screen setup. That green screen setup is literally um, two, two Elgato green screens that I was like hanging from the roof and desperately hoping it didn't pull down the support beam. Never coming back. I am never touching this terrible, awful, unplayable mess ever again. What the hell is that? One eternity later. He's <laughs> using an aging. This aging filter was really, really hard to get because I didn't know about Snapcam at the time. So what I did, this is not actually video this is actually a series of png images that have all been aged that's why my face keeps on changing i wish i knew about Snapcam earlier because it would have been so much easier to film this if i did filter like from snapchat <laughs> what year is it oh, yeah. as always big thank to all my subscribers both old and new don't skip it don't skip it he didn't skip it thank you, thank you. <laughs> he didn't skip it Oh, people usually stop right there and then they don't see the rest of this. Dude, this guy. Those members of Big First Impression, who this time around get to watch this video before anyone else. One of you are actually the reason I tried this game in the first place. And if you wanted some idea of how long it takes me to get around to- That's it, there we go. That's the guy responsible for making me play Guild Wars 2 for the first time. Wojciech, one of the oldest Patreons on my patron um on my patreon i think he stopped the patreon he told me why he like messaged me about it so I'm, I, I can't be mad also i will never be mad if someone gives me three dollars and then vanishes forever because i got three dollars what the fuck am i go what the fuck do i have to complain about i don't know why people feel the need to like apologize for not being a part of the the patreon or anything like that it's like if you have the spare capital do it if you don't fucking don't to the things you suggest well, now you know. Anyway, more. It, it, it could be even longer than that, yes. More content soon. Bye. All right, I'm, I'm giving it a like and a subscribe. Hey, okay. Hey, way! we got him to subscribe. Hey, there we go. Fuck yeah, my next two videos are Guild Wars 2 videos. Hey, maybe we'll get him to react to those. We'll see. Maybe not, because I, uh, I do have a newer Guild Wars 2 video that he hasn't reacted hey. to. For anyone interested, I'm putting it in the chat right now. Oh, that that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. Yo, that <laughs> he was he was towing the line of getting in trouble a few times.
you gotta dance on the line you gotta you gotta stretch it out you know you you really gotta stretch out those youtube rules <laughs> while i can still get away from them before some like youtube rep like messages me like listen bud i know you got two hundred thousand views on your video but um we we need you to stop fucking doing this please times there that was uh that was that was something that was something uh yeah i did i did watch it i have a comment here yo oh shit he, yeah okay i did say at the beginning that he did leave uh, a comment on one of my guild wars 2 videos and I, w I wasn't sure which one it was so i suppose he did leave it on that one that's this i was like i think i might have watched this a year ago my just my coke adult brain doesn't remember it and that's the 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 sip the sip sip kind calm down yeah, so I did leave a comment. Yeah, Noxie will have a lot of sense. Right? Wait, is Noxie his editor? Okay, well this one, this one here that I did is a lot tamer. Uh, there's not nearly as much censorship that has to be done, if at all. Uh, yeah, I just had no memory of it. But incredible video, very entertaining. Yo, this guy could I'm write a he script. It. He said it took him seven months to try it. I bet it, I bet it took him seven months to write that script. Fun fact. I'm really proud of this. It took me three days to write that script. It took me like fucking four months to edit it. But it took me three days to write the fucking script. That was fantastic. But yeah, that was his first time trying. Uh, <laughs> and he goes back to fuck the colorblind. Too. He's got a few other videos. Maybe we'll check those out later. But uh, yeah, this was fantastic. Shout out to Rose. There's links to it in the chat if you want it and i'm i'm glad he uh, enjoyed his time there i'm glad he enjoyed his time there definitely i still do check out more of his other content i still definitely do i think he's also responsible for me now being above fifteen thousand. um oh uh, whatchamacallit fifteen thousand uh subscribers and that means i need to reshoot some things for my next video yeah i found your channel three's vid just popped uh up on main i don't even sub to him i mean look he makes good content right so, I mean, I don't, I'm not surprised that um, anyone who plays Guild Wars 2 probably knows who Muckluck is, right? I'm, I mean, he's like, like I said at the beginning, he's the god of Guild Wars 2. Everyone knows his stuff. I think it's maybe him and Mighty Teapot are the only people who like really, really focus on Guild Wars 2. So I would be shocked. But I'm glad he enjoyed the video. I'm glad that he got some laughs out of it. And I'm glad, I'm really glad that he got like, <laughs> he had like a mild panic attack. And his editor, uh, I'm assuming that's Noxie, would, it probably had a stroke fucking <laughs> trying to edit my video together. Oh, that poor bastard.